This is the fourth in the series on how to use Evernote and this video will look at tags and how to create them and to use them to search for your notes. So I'm using Evernote for the desktop and I'm using a Mac. Uh, but everything is, apart from the, some of the commands, is the same on any other platform. And we'll also take a look at the online Evernote account to see how things differ with that. So a tag is something that is another layer of organization. You have notebooks, and in your notebooks, you organize the notes, and these are all the notebooks that I have here, into appropriate folders. So think of a notebook as a folder. But within that folder, you still need to be able to find specific notes. So I have a, uh, a notebook for a summer school course that I'm going to be teaching. And in collecting information for that course, I put them all into the summer school folder, but I need to then differentiate within each note about what specifically it's about. So I think they've all got the iPad because that's what this one's about, summer school iPad, and that's the only tag they've got. But I could have other levels of tags if I wanted to. So tags are just another way of organising your notes you can search for tags, they're searchable. So if I wanted to find the um, notes that have iPad in, in them up in the, the search, I can put tag, search for the tag. And it's best to put it into quotes to find exactly what you want, what the iPad, uh, any notes with iPad. And it's going to find those. Um, it probably would have been better if I wasn't on that. Let's try it again, tag iPad. Okay, so now it's it's brought up those. I'm still in the all notebooks. That's where the highlighting is, but it's found those notes that have iPad in them. So how do you create a tag? A uh, number of ways. You can do it from the file menu and do new tag and just give it a name. So maybe it is on a computer. You can think of a whole lot of tags that um, you might use and build up a whole bank of them and then create it. And they will appear here. If I um, do that disclosure triangle, they'll all appear there, all the different tags. For consistency, all my tags are lowercase. So I don't use um, capital case, so a capital letter for the start of the word. All lowercase, and that way I know when I'm putting in a search, that it's all going to be lowercase. It will also give you in, in this list of tags how many notes actually have that tag. So there are two in editing, and if I click on that tag, it'll bring up those two notes. And I already have one for computers, so that tag that I just created there is really useless, redundant. So I want to delete it. So I get to delete a tag and I click on it, and I can seeing what other ways there are. The, the way that I usually do is just right click it and delete the tag. Or I could rename it if I wanted to. Uh, delete. Uh, the other way to add a tag is from the, the um, plus down here, new tag. Same box will come up, put in a tag name and create it. And when you want to look at your tags, apart from here, because uh, usually I have this all closed up. So the notebooks are closed, the tags are closed, so it makes it a little bit neater here. But you can look at your tags from here. You can filter notes this way. So if I was looking for all the tags on editing, I could just type that in there. That's the tag I want. And again, by selecting it, it's going to bring up the, the notes that have that in there. And There are all sorts of ways to filter, so this one's a, got nothing in it. Uh, if you want to add a tag to a note that comes in, so it's going to the uh, inbox where all of the notes come in. My default notebook is the inbox, and it's from there that I move things off into notebooks and add the tags. So there's a couple here. There's a couple of recipes here on how to make granola bars. So for the tag that I want to put in for that, it's in the inbox. So first of all, I want to move it out of there into perhaps recipes. 
if I can find wonderful recipes. No, it's not going to go into recipes. It's going to go into juice and raw that notebook. It's now gone from from the inbox. So I need to do the same with that. Change the notebook going into juice and raw, and, it, and it, immediately it leaves the inbox. Uh, if I wanted to make it a bit easier, I could have put the tags in first and then change the notebook. So let's go to the notebook juice and raw, which is where those two have gone. Chocolate granola bars, granola bars. And I do need to put a tag on them. Uh, I have a tag for recipes. Pretty sure I do. It's notebook, so let's go back to tags. And there is a tag for recipes. And there's already three in there. But the two that I just put into that uh, folder are not in there. So let's move that down. So back into that. So I could put, they're both going to have the tag of recipes. So I can do it two ways. I can I can do them individually and just click in the first one and type in recipes. And if I've already got anything that starts with those letters, it's going to bring up the existing tag. So I can select it, press return, rather than type it out again and risk making a typing mistake, which means that I have different spellings of recipes. I can do it that way. Or I can put them both into uh, the recipes tag at the same time by highlighting both uh, notes at the same time and dragging them into, I'm going to get this on the screen, I like that one, dragging them into recipes and that gives them the tags. So when I come back and have a look at them, they've got the tag of recipes. So that's one way of using multiple tags, having several notes that have the same tag instead of doing them one by one drag them in, highlight them using, in Mac's case, it's using the command key to highlight uh, individual notes. If you've got a whole lot of notes in a row, it's hold the shift key down, click, click the first, hold the shift key, hold the last, uh, click the last, and that will get you the, the whole selection. Um, what I've got here, I'm doing this on the desktop, so these this information needs to be synced then back to my online account. So I've got to remember to sync it. So up here, sync it, and make sure it goes back to the online account. So I want to go into the web, and this is Evernote Online, and Juice and Raw. They should be there, recipes, recipes. So it's fairly quick, that synchronization. Uh, you can also have nested tags. And here's a look at a nested tag. So let's just close up the notebooks. And nested tags are where you have like an overview. So in this one, for example, programming, you can see all the different levels of tags underneath that. So if I, and it, it has a disclosure triangle too. So this has two levels. So if I wanted to collect some notes about iOS programming and give them that tag, they're going to go under that umbrella, if you like, of programming. It's like the stacks in notebooks where you have a, a notebook that is like a, a folder, an overriding folder, and folders within that, uh, like the filing cabinet, if you like. Um, it's the same with the tags. The programming is the filing cabinet, then inside that are the specific drawers, iOS and Xcode. So I have a few. I think there was a, a blogging one up here for blog posts, uh, which is the overriding uh, um, uh, folder on top of that, the overriding tag. Uh, I would never give a tag, a, a post, the tag of blog posts, because that's sort of what's holding everything. I want to be more specific about what type of blog post is it. So I'd give it the tags of drafts, ideas, or tutorials. And to do, to do one of those, you simply, uh, if I wanted to make this one the main one, I can just uh, drag a tag over it. So if I dragged uh, cables over checklists, I've created a nested um, set of tags. If I made a mistake, I can get rid of that and move the tag to the top level and undo that. So nested tags is another way of organizing. The more tags you have, the more difficult it might be to find information. So you really need to be pretty clear about how you're going to organize your notes in notebooks and then what specific types of tags and be consistent. 
And the best way to be consistent with a tag is when you have the note. Let's go back up to a notebook and pick a note. Uh, so I'll uh, say this receipt. I have a, a note here and I actually want to, it's a, it's a receipt for a scanner. So it has an incorrect tag in it, scams. So if I don't want that one, I'm just going to click on it and delete it. If I wanted to make another tag for scanner, just putting the SC in, we'll see if I've already got anything. So I have got scanner, so I can add that in. And the problem with this one, that's got capital S's at the beginning. And if I look down there, they have. So I mean, that, that would be something I have to fix up because I really don't want to have inconsistencies like that. Uh, scanning is absolutely vital for finding your information because you can search up here for a specific tag or combination of tags, putting in the correct notebook, the correct tagging, and you'll be able to find your information a little bit later uh, as you get many, many notes. I've only got 92 here, so there's um, it's still small enough to be able to find anything. But the bigger you get, the more difficult it will be to find things. So use them uh, wisely. That's all for this video.